Yeah, good evening, Ashley. This intersection here at Main and Goodell Street is a good example of the difference between what lawmakers call a complete street and not so safe streets. I'll show you what I mean in just one minute. But first, I want to tell you that state lawmakers are hoping with the final budget set to be voted on next week in Albany that they'll be able to get some funding for what they call complete streets. Senator Tim Kennedy is joining forces with other local lawmakers as well as pedestrian, cycling, and transit advocates to demand the state commits money to its final budget to something called complete streets. And here's exactly what they mean by that. Complete streets are designed to ensure the safety, mobility, and convenient access of all roadway users, including children, seniors, and people with disabilities. There's already funding for safe infrastructure, but Kennedy is hoping to strengthen that with new legislation. Complete streets focus not only here in urban communities, but suburban communities as well. And I told you I'd illustrate the difference between a complete street and a not so safe street. If you take a look south behind me here on Main Street, this is what they consider a safe street with bike lanes, access to transit, and room for cars. But if we walk and turn around here and give you a view north of Goodell, well, you can clearly see that is not the case at all with no bike lanes, no access to transit, and six lanes for traffic. Now, of course, local lawmakers are hoping to change that, and they tell me that it could be as complicated as widening the roads or as easy as just adding a fresh coat of paint. For now, reporting live in downtown Buffalo, Joe Perkins, 7 Eyewitness News.